hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be trying on eyebrow tattoos and uh for those of you who don't know what eyebrow tattoos are they're actually um literally what the name says eyebrow tattoos and i mentioned in a previous video that i'm going to be trying out eyebrow tattoos and uh this is because there are so many people out there who might not have eyebrows like uh Maybe people who are burn victims, people who uh, are undergoing cancer treatment and all manner of things on this earth that actually cause your hair to fall out. And there are some who just, like me, naturally don't have eyebrows. Okay, I, I do have eyebrows. It's not like I don't have completely. But considering the bushy eyebrow trend, they're not really that visible. So I went on AliExpress and I got eyebrow tattoos and... I think you show, you'll see it probably in an AliExpress haul that I did. And today I want to try out this. You see how good they look. That is what enticed me. And as you can see, it's written eyebrow tattoo sticker. So what I'm, I'm going to take you through how I saw somebody doing it. And this somebody was actually Shalom Black. Shalom Black tried these eyebrow tattoos. And this actually motivated me to also try them. So I'm just going to remove them from the packaging. It has a paper. Okay, this is a paper actually. So I'm going to remove them from the packaging and then we'll try them out. I'm so excited to honestly try this out because I'm so tired of having to use pencils and, con and contours and concealer and all that. And as you know, the bushy eyebrow trend is in right now. So if you don't have bushy eyebrows, a poor network in this trend. So look at this. You know, I'm actually the kind of person who has to, what is it called? Who has to fill in their brows, even when it was the thin eyebrow trend in the early 2000s. I still had to fill in my brows, my thin so brows. So after you remove this so plastic paper, as you can see, there's a plastic paper that was... The entire pack was inside. After you remove this plastic paper, there's also another plastic paper here on top. You see? It's like a protector. The way they are normally like screen protectors for mobile phones when the mobile phone is still new. That's what it looks like. And I will not advocate that you remove all of it because it, uh, it's protecting these other ones. You see the rest of the eyebrows, it's protecting them. So I'd advocate that you just cut up the eyebrow together with that sticker being careful not to cut the brow such that you can go back so these are the pieces i've just cut it together with that sticker that you've seen on top so that these ones can continue being protected and you can just now peel it right so you can now just peel it off now, after peeling it off, I'm going to cut this into two. You know, just so that we can make a really precise brow. And then the side that the sticker was on, which is this side, this is the side the sticker was on. So this side had the sticker. I'll place that side on my brow. And then I'll try and make it, you know, be as close as possible to my real brow shape. I don't know. Is that too much? No, I need to move it in a bit. Oh, I hope I've not damaged it. I need to move it in slightly like that. I'm trying to picture myself. Yeah, I think, yeah, it actually sticks, eh? It actually sticks. And then the next step after I've stuck it, I'll take a cotton ball. So I have some cotton balls and I'll dip it in water. And I'm just going to pass that cotton ball over this. You know, I have to be careful so that it doesn't. Okay. 
so that it transfers properly. So this is a wet cotton ball. Okay, this is at least how I saw Shalom Black doing it because the AliExpress, by the way, they don't really give instructions. <laughs> it just came as a product, no instructions, no nothing. And I really wonder the, why that is so. Okay, let's wait for it to like. We can do the other one also. And I'm just trying to make them look as. Not so stiff. Why do I look crazy? I don't know, maybe I should just oh my god. There is something there is something. Wow. There is something. <gasps> wow they're higher than my brows <laughs> as you can see it's actually higher than my brows wow now i'll have to look like a drag queen for the rest of the week oh my god how do you get this off because i'll probably look like a drag queen for the rest of the week oh my god i need a mirror because those brows are high but I think it actually, oh my god, in fact, close up, it looks so real. I don't know whether you guys can see. Close up, they look so real, like if I'm to define them. Wow. They look really, really real. But I did put them way higher than my normal brows. Well, new look. New year, new look. Hey guys, those are the eyebrow tattoos that I've just tried out and I actually think they work. They work actually because they don't look like they're about to budge. They're not about to budge, honestly. They're not about to budge and they look so real. The only issue is that precision, like where to place them could be sort of an issue. Like, these ones of mine are way higher than my normal brows. My normal brows are right here, and these ones are, like, here. But it's fine. But they are really, really pretty. I like them. I actually like them. But I don't know how I'm going to go to work with such brows. I have no clue. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I know I have a funny, weird voice right now, but it's because I have a cold. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.